Hey, what's up guys? Reef Spy here. And if you know what you're looking at, then you know exactly how excited I am right now. Uh, my Neptune Apex system has finally arrived and it is here. Um, for those of you who might not know what this is, it's an aquarium controller, uh, basically a computer that I'm gonna hook up underneath of my aquarium. And I'm gonna be able to hook up all sorts of probes, equipment, um, you know, do all sorts of things with it. Things go wrong. They're going to be able to send me alerts and text messages uh, to my cell phone. So it's a really uh, cool piece of equipment. And I am super excited to get this. Um, so it's here. And I was so excited, in fact. Um, I've already actually opened this. So I'm going to save you the pain of me tearing through all these boxes and uh, just show you what I got in there. All right, so here is all of the equipment uh, out of the boxes. So let's take a look at what we got. Um, so the main piece of this is the Apex controller, and this is it here. So this is actually the newer model that they came out with last year, which supports Wi-Fi um, along with a lot of other features. Uh, there's a classic version of this Apex, which has the older style. I opted to go with the new one, and uh, this is the basically the brain right here. Um, you can see underneath there are all sorts of ports to, uh, to hook all the equipment up to and sensors. Um, put that down. Yeah, uh, unfortunately nothing is labeled there, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory when you start hooking things up. Um, you've got an Ethernet port you can plug into your network. Uh, this thing also has Wi-Fi, so you may or may not need that. Uh, there's a power port there um, if you want to. Uh, this thing can draw power from the energy bar 832, which is what this is. Um, and this is, you know, basically the, uh, second piece of the, uh, equipment here. Uh, this is going to hook up to my apex, um, and I'll be able to control all of these different ports, monitor how much power they're drawing, um, turn them on, turn them off. There's little indicator lights. There is more ports on the side for more accessories. Um, so all kinds of cool stuff's going to happen with this. Um, but yeah, once you start plugging everything in, uh, all the probes and everything basically will only fit into one of the slots, so it shouldn't be too difficult to figure that out. Um, here are the probes right here. So it comes with a, a temperature. I'm not quite sure which one is which here, but I know this is temperature. Uh, there is a pH probe. Oh, hang on for a second. Phone is ringing. Okay, sorry about that. Um, of course, as soon as I picked up the phone, uh, <laughs> they hung up on me, so figures. Um, don't you just love those unsolicited calls? I, I know I do. Anyway, where were we? Uh, the probes. Yeah, so we've got temperature, pH, ORP, and salinity. Um, honestly, I don't even really know what ORP does for me. I've never monitored that before, but hey, I've got it. So I'll be doing that now. Um, so all right, so we got, you know, the head unit, the power bar. You get the probes. Uh, what else did they send you? So you also get this... Um, Connector cable, it looks like a USB-A on each side. Uh, this is used to connect the head unit to the energy bar. Uh, allows them to communicate and also draw power uh, from the energy bar. Um, that way you don't need to use this uh, auxiliary power, but if you, for some reason, want to run this by itself without an energy bar, uh, you can hook a power cord up to that. I read that. Um, what else did they send me? So also in the package, um, you got some pH calibration solutions. I think there's two different pouches in there. I haven't gone in there. Uh, they give you some screws to mount your equipment. Uh, looks like they gave me a little sticker. Cool. Uh, what else came in the main box? And I think that was pretty much it in the box. Um, as far as documentation, they basically give you a little card telling you uh, go to their website. Um, there's no instruction manual or anything in the box. Uh, so I went here this morning, uh, earlier today, and uh, their online help is actually really good. So I was pleased with that. And yeah, that's, that's about the everything that comes with the main system. Um, of course, I also bought two wave pumps, which are these are the circulation pumps. Uh, so these are the Apex waves. Um, nice thing about these is you know, they come with their wire here, and this 
single wire right here. Um, I think they call it the one link wire. Anyway, there's only one wire that's going to plug uh, into one of these ports. So they gave you three one link ports uh, on each one of these power bars. So I'm going to use you know one for each of these pumps. That gives me another one. There's other accessories that you can you know, plug into them. Uh, so that's nice. It's going to be less, I think, uh, clutter once I get this thing all set up. I'm eliminating some cords from the other pumps that I would have been using. Um, so yeah, so I got that. Oh, and one other, oh, this thing here. So in addition to the two wave pumps and the actual unit itself, um, I went and bought the, uh, treat it myself, got the magnetic probe holder. Um, this comes in this really nice box, which if I can figure out how to open it. Yeah, this actually is a magnetic box, which is pretty cool. And then in there, you've got your probe holder. Really nice piece of uh, equipment here. They really did some good job with the acrylic. I like that. It's expensive, but hey, what isn't in this hobby, right? So, um, all right. So that's all of the equipment. That's, you know, my unboxing slash fake unboxing since I didn't actually do it uh, live. But that's, you know, the results. And let me take you over to the aquarium and show you where this is all going to go. So this is the 180 gallon reef where this apex equipment is going to be installed. So my tank is coming up on about one year old. Uh, it's getting close to that. And, you know, as you can see, I've been running it without an apex all this time. And it's been doing pretty good, I think. Um, but, you know, I've pretty much... Got all of the fish that I'm going to get. Um, I'm struggling to find places for any new corals and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, part of the fun of this hobby is, you know, constantly adding things to your reef and, you know, trying to make things a little bit better. So um, I think I've got all the livestock in there that I'm going to need for a little while. Uh, so now it's time to start upgrading the equipment, maybe. So that's, you know, was my thoughts. So that's why I've got my apex unit and I've had everything going uh, pretty much on its own system you know their own controllers and everything and it's been worked out good but I'm ready to take it to the next level so um, the next step is to figure out you know where am I going to mount all this stuff uh, obviously some of this equipment is going to be coming out um, some can be moved like those Jabo wave makers not going to need them anymore it'll give me some room take some wires out of here um, I'll be able to pull some of these other uh, power strips out probably uh, but yeah that's my next challenge is to figure out where I'm going to put all this stuff so once I get that figured out I'll bring an update for you guys but um, yeah so for right now I just wanted to show you that you know I've got the apex here I'm excited to get this installed and you know hopefully I'll be able to uh, you know bring some videos on that in the near future once I get it set up and I guess that's uh, about it for now so if you guys made it this far thanks for watching I appreciate uh, all the support uh, it looks like I just hit 1,000 subscribers just recently so that's a great milestone I'll have to make a little video on that and um, yeah that's it I'll catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching